Hello friends, um, today uh, we have reached uh, Psalm 21 from the Orthodox Study Bible and uh, we pray in Jesus name to be with us, to help us to understand what we are reading, to uh, send us His Holy Spirit and to guide us in this meditation while we are reading the commentary and everything else what needs to be read today. In Jesus name we pray, Amen. Psalm nine, uh, 21 is a very long psalm, so it's going to be one psalm today. Um, for the end, concerning help in the morning, a psalm by David. O oh God, my God, hear me. Why have you forsaken me? The words of my transgressions are far from my salvation. O oh my God, I will cry out by day, but uh, you will not hear me, and by night, but not for a lack of understanding in me. But you dwell among the saints, O oh, praise of Israel. Our fathers hoped in you, they hoped in you, and you delivered them. They cried out to you and were saved. They hoped in you and were not ashamed, but I am a worm and not a man, a reproach of man and despised by the people, and who see me mock me, they speak with their lips and shake their head, saying, He hoped in the Lord, let him rescue him, let him save him since he delights in him. For you are he who drew me from the womb, my hope from my mother's breast. I was cast upon you from the womb, from my mother's womb. You are my God. Do not stand off from me, for affliction is near. There is no one to help. Many young bulls surround me, but bulls encircled me. They opened their mouths against me like a raging and roaring lion and poured out like water and all my bones are shattered. My heart is like wax melting into my stomach. My strength is dried up like a, an earthen vessel. My tongue cleaves to my throat and you led me into the dust of death. For many dogs surrounded me, an assembly of evildoers enclosed me. They pierced my hands and my feet. I numbered all my bones, and they looked and stared at me. They divided my garments among themselves, and for my clothing they cast lots. But you, O Lord, do not remove your help from me. Attend to my aid, deliver my soul from the sword and my only begotten from the hand of the dog. Save me from the lion's mouth, my humiliation from the horns of the unicorns. I will declare your name to my brethren. In the midst of the church, I will sing to you. You who fear the Lord, praise Him, and you seed of Jacob, glorify Him, fear Him, all you seed of Israel, for He has not despised them, um, nor scorned the beggar's supplication, nor has He turned away His face from me, and when I cried out to Him, He heard me. My praise is from you in the great church. I will pay my vows before those who fear him. The poor shall eat and be well filled. And those who seek him will praise the Lord. Their hearts will live unto ages of ages. All the ends of the world shall remember and turn to the Lord. And all families of the Gentiles shall worship before you. 
for the kingdom is the Lord's and he is the master of the Gentiles. All the prosperous of the earth ate and worship all going down into the earth shall bow down before him. And my soul lives with him and my seed shall serve him. The coming generation shall be told of the Lord and they will declare his righteousness to people who will be born because the Lord made them. Psalm 21 is a prophecy of the Lord's death and resurrection and of his church. Thus, this psalm may be outlined as follows. First, the resurrection, like in verse 1. O oh God, my God, hear me, why have you forsaken me? Second, the crucifixion, verses 2 till 22. The words of my transgression, the words of my transgressions are far from my salvation. O oh my God, I will cry out by day, but you will not hear me, and by night, but not for lack of understanding in me, but to dwell among the saints, O oh, praise of Israel. Our fathers hoped in you, they hoped in you, and you delivered them. They cried out to you and were saved. They hoped in you and were not ashamed. But I am no worm and not a man, a reproach of man, and despised by the people. All who see me mock me. They speak with their lips and shake their head, saying, He hoped in the Lord, let him rescue him. Let him save him, since he delights in him. For you are he who drew me from the womb, my hope from my mother's breast. I was cast upon you from the womb, from my mother's womb. You are my God. Do not stand up for me. For affliction is near, there is no one to help. Many young boys surrounded me, fat boys encircled me. They opened their mouths against me like a raging and roaring lion, and poured out like water, and all my bones are shattered. My heart is like wax melting into my stomach. My strength is dried up like an earthen vessel. My tongue cleaves to my throat, and you led me into the dust of death. For many dogs surrounded me, an assembly of evildoers enclosed me. They pierced my hands and my feet. I numbered all my bones, and they looked and stared at me. They divided my garments among themselves, and for my clothing they cast lots. But you, o Lord, do not remove your help from me, attend to my aid, deliver my soul from the sword, and my only begotten from the hand of the dog, save me from the lion's mouth, my humiliation from the horns of the unicorns. Third, the church, verses 23-33. I will declare your name to my brethren. In the midst of the church, I will sing to you. You who fear the Lord, praise him. And all you see of Jacob, glorify him, fear him. All you see of Israel, for he has despised not, nor scorned the beggar's supplication. Nor has he turned away his, turned away his face from me. And when I cried out to him, he heard me. My praise is from you in the great church. I will pay my vows before those who fear him. The poor shall eat and be well filled. And those who seek him will praise the Lord. Their hearts will live unto ages of ages. And all the, the ends of the world shall remember and turn to the Lord. And all families of Gentiles shall worship before you, for the kingdom is the Lord's, and he is the master of the Gentiles. 
all the prosperous of the earth ate and worshipped, all going down into the earth shall bow down before him, and my soul lives with him, and my seed shall serve him. The coming generation shall be told of the Lord, and they will declare his righteousness to people who will be born because the Lord made them. First, Christ is the end, and he was resurrected early in the morning, like in verse 1. See also Mark's chapter 16, verse 2, and Luke chapter 24, verse 1. Second, the New Testament quotes several verses from this psalm in relation to the crucifixion. For example, verse 2, quoted in Matthew chapter 27, verse 4. 46 and Mark chapter 15 was verse 34 verse 9 is quoted in Matthew 27 verse 43 and verse 19 is quoted in Matthew 27 verse 35 third the New Testament also quotes verse 23 in Hebrew chapter 2 verse 12 referring to the one holy catholic and apostolic church in the creed psalm 21 is used throughout great and holy friday in ortrus in the first hour and in great vespers it is also used in the feast of the exaltation of the holy cross in jesus name we pray that god grants us Peace and understanding of this sound to bless us today and forever. Amen.